Well, it's been a pleasure to be in the Congress because Gaudi, who has been seen as an eccentric, as a strange mystic, as an outsider, in fact, is seen through computer analyses. Uh, he seemed to be a very astute scholar and thinker regarding architectural development. And the Russians in particular have been brilliant in the subtle uh, unpacking of Gaudi's work. They make it possible for us to see that Gaudi did his calculations seriously and consistently, and that he was involved with the process. He improvised, but he improvised in the context of work that he was doing and the possibilities of making a complete work through a series of steps based on mathematical calculations. It was essentially intuitive, but he had been well trained in mathematics. He was doing this work in serious, stable uh, inquiry, unlike the image of Gaudi as an oddball, the uh, outsider who was unable to persist in any formal educational model. His work seems to be peculiar, but in fact through mathematical analyses, through internet, through uh, computer analyses, it's obvious that he did very serious thinking about what he was doing, using catenary arches, the hyperbolic paraboloids, in a way that was very economic, because in fact his work turned out to be very inexpensive in its production, very economical in his use of materials, and the material has, his work has endured, it's, his work is stable. It has been uh, naturally waterproof. He created work with waterproofing tiles that made it possible for him to build very inexpensively but with a, a permanence, even though his work was seen at the time as ephemeral. I don't think he expected the work to last as long as he did, but then his work as a heroic monument has survived the test of time.